Sir Roland, well, obviously the first thing I'm going to ask you is that big trade that just happened. I mean, I was stunned. Carl Anthony Towns being traded to the Knicks. Um, your thoughts on that? Yes. Well, you know, I edit Lindy's Pro Basketball Annual. And, uh, you know, the Knicks have been doing a lot of things. And they got the McCall Bridges deal done with five first-round picks. The way it, when they added him, that was very aggressive. I, I looked at everything, and I said, I think the Knicks are going to win it this year. Oh. And that was kind of a bold pick. That was before this this deal. And, you know, the the one hole in all of that is the big one in the center because they lost Isaiah Hartenstein in free agency to Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. And so, boom, you know. And Mitchell Robinson was starting the season with injuries. And so, uh, you know, they gave up two really fine pieces. Yeah. And a, and a first round pick from the Pistons. It's protected, but uh, y you know, uh, with uh, Julius Randle mm -hmm. and DiVincenzo, um, Minnesota got a couple of players, and of course the Knicks got a a big man who's not a great defender, not a great rim protector, mm -hmm. but the dude shoots forty one percent from three. Yeah. And he does that with some volume. And that's a floor spreader. That's uh, that's a huge thing. Uh, they got a little thinner at guard, but they they have some they have some pieces in the pipeline to help them out. And it's going to be uh, interesting, you know. Um, Tom Thibodeau, the Thibodeau, the coach of the Knicks, is known as a defensive minded guy. Mm -hmm. But this is an offensive upgrade for the Knicks. And I think that will be interesting. I, I do think Carl Anthony Towns had become, I don't know, you know, it, it wasn't a great playoffs for him. Mm -hmm. It had been a, a great regular season. He was a big part of them, do, of the Timberwolves doing what they did. But um, it became a, uh, um, if you're in Minnesota, it became a move you were thinking about because he's a valuable player. Mm -hmm. And so um, we'll have to see all this, how all this works out, but uh, it could be interesting. And it will be interesting in the East because, uh, you know, the Celtics are yeah. coming off the Olympics with a couple of snubs to their star players. Uh uh, you, you know, Chris Stapps Porzingis has uh, uh, rehabbed his injury, and uh, uh, you know he'll he'll come back, and uh, they'll attempt to have him. But I think the Celtics are going to be very motivated. We know that um, that in Philadelphia they're motivated and they've made their changes. So the Eastern conference, you look at the Western conference, it's pretty loaded, yeah. but you look at the Eastern conference and man, it's, you got some, you got a little bit of a traffic jam trying to win a title in, in both conferences. Just wondering, sir, there's, uh, is it true that uh, Cat, uh, Towns and uh, Thibodeau had an issue before, but according to Cat, that's all water under the bridge. Do you think this will factor in with their reunion here in New York? Well, it could, but I don't think that um, if there was something there, I don't think it would have happened. Uh, something that really was going to be a factor. Y you know, both men have uh, moved on down the trail. They've both learned a lot. And um, I think that will, uh, I think that will serve them well. If they let that get in the way, then they shouldn't be doing what they're doing. And I don't think they will. I think things will be fine. How about a defense, sir? You mentioned Cat doesn't have good defense, and we all, I know Thibodeau puts an emphasis on D. Do you think um, it's going to be a problem? Uh, I think it'll be interesting is the way I'll put it. I think that um, 
the Knicks have uh, obviously some guys very capable of defending. Bridges uh, obviously is is going to do a lot. Um, they have a, a lot of different pieces. I, I just, you know, they got worn out and injured last year. And um, I, I think this will give them a chance. I, I do. I, 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 I was wondering about my pick because it's on the cover of our, our New York edition of Lindy's Magazine. And I thought, no, I, I'll stick by that. I'm going to pick the Knicks to win a league title this year. Oh, okay. What does this mean for? Does this uh, do well? I mean, for Jalen Brunson. Oh yes, he's got more pieces. You know, uh, he he plays, um, but he's got a big man that can spread the floor. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna create some defensive challenges for the other teams in the Eastern Conference. So we'll we'll see how far that takes them. But Brunson is that guy that can exploit those kinds of things and is really good at it. And he's a guy without a lot of issues. Yeah. He just wants to go out and compete. Yes, that's true. I'm going to go over the Timberwolves. What does this mean? I mean, we all know that Rudy Gobert is, Gobert is there, and then there's Anthony Edwards. Do you think that J um, Josh Randall will, will fit in with uh, these two stars? Uh, you know, I guess there could always be a problem, but I've always viewed Julius Randall as a hell of a player. Yeah, uh, he he's a smart guy. And uh, he's he's a valuable piece. He'll uh, he'll give uh, Minnesota uh, a different sort of uh, uh, set of offensive options. And uh, I think it's uh, I think it's helpful to both teams. Okay, so both won here in this uh, trade, in your opinion, sir. In your view, you know, I think uh, they're in opposite conferences. I think they both got plenty to to move forward with, mm -hmm. and I think that um, uh, I, I I think this is a blue sky for both clubs. I really do. I think it opens up options. Uh, sometimes you think, oh, these guys won it, these guys lost it. I I don't really get that sense. Mm -hmm. They both have a, a thing they're trying to do. They've reached a certain level. The fact that they've reached that certain level is big news for both teams. And so when you get a certain level, the next thing is we got to get to the next level, you know? In the case of the Timberwolves, we got to win it. And Julius Randle is a competitor. DiVincenzo, the same. I mean, really, really competitive guys. And then the Knicks, they needed those pieces. They needed to open it up a little bit. And, uh, you know, Carl Anthony Towns can certainly do that for him. So, uh, and then Bridges, good golly, Miss Molly. Yeah. 